Hey everyone, today we're diving into a test that often shows up on your basic blood panel, but doesn't always get the attention it deserves. BUN, or blood urea nitrogen. If you've ever looked at your lab results and thought, my BUN is a little high, should I be worried? Or maybe, what even is BUN? This video is for you. Let's break down what BUN is, what normal levels look like, and what it could mean if yours is too low or too high. So first things first, what is BUN? BUN stands for blood urea nitrogen. It's a measurement of how much urea nitrogen is in your blood, a waste product made when your body breaks down protein. Your liver produces urea and your kidneys filter it out. So BUN gives us clues about how well your kidneys are working and sometimes even your hydration status or protein intake. What's a normal BUN level? In most healthy adults, BUN levels fall between 7 and 20 milligrams per deciliter. Some labs might stretch the upper end a bit depending on age, sex, or baseline kidney function. But if you're in that 7 to 20 range, you're usually in good shape. What if your BUN is low? Low BUN levels are less common, but they do happen. They can be seen in liver disease, since the liver is where urea is made, malnutrition or very low protein diets, sometimes during pregnancy, or if you're overhydrated, yes, too much water can dilute bun levels. On their own, low bun levels aren't usually alarming, but they might point to something going on with your liver, diet, or fluid balance. Your doctor would look at other lab values, like liver enzymes or albumin, to figure out the full picture. What if your bun is high? Now, elevated bun is a more common finding, and it doesn't always mean kidney failure. Yes, it can reflect kidney issues, but it's also affected by dehydration, probably the most common cause of a temporarily high bun, high protein intake, certain medications like NSAIDs or diuretics, or heart conditions like congestive heart failure where blood flow to the kidneys is reduced. In general, a bun just over 20 might be mildly elevated. Over 40, that might raise some eyebrows, especially if you also feel unwell or have abnormal creatinine levels. Above 60, that usually triggers a deeper workup, especially if kidney disease is suspected. But remember, BUN doesn't diagnose anything alone. It's always interpreted alongside creatinine and other kidney function markers. Some common misconceptions. Let's clear up a few things. High BUN always means kidney disease. Not necessarily. A hot day, a tough workout, or even being a little dehydrated from not drinking enough water can temporarily bump your BUN. Low bun means your kidneys are in great shape. Not quite. A low bun could mean your liver isn't making urea properly or you're not getting enough protein. It's not a gold star on its own. Bun levels jump all over the place. Bun can vary, but not randomly. If your level changes, there's usually a reason behind it. That's why doctors look at trends over time, not just one result. What should you do if your bun is off? Start by looking at the big picture. If your bun is mildly out of range and you feel fine, your doctor might just recheck it later. But if it's significantly elevated or paired with symptoms like fatigue, nausea, swelling, or changes in urination, that could signal something more serious, especially when creatinine is also high. Sometimes the solution is as simple as drinking more fluids, adjusting your protein intake, or changing a medication. Other times, it might call for further tests, like a creatinine test, EGFR, or urinalysis to check kidney function more closely. So here's the takeaway. BUN is a helpful marker, but it's not the full story. Think of it as one clue in a larger health puzzle. Whether your BUN is a little low, a little high, or somewhere in between, what really matters is how it fits with your overall health picture. Don't panic if your numbers are slightly off. Instead, talk with your doctor, ask questions, and make decisions based on the whole person, not just the lab result. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.